stayed in this residential neighborhood last night and didn't really have any issues. This road ended up being a little bit busier than I thought it was going to be this morning. There were a lot of cars driving by, so I woke up pretty early, but overall I slept really well and it worked out. So I just came over to a local Walmart. I'm going to hang out here in the parking lot for a little bit, make up some breakfast, and then run inside and pick up a few things that I have to get, some groceries and stuff like that. But I noticed over here that they have these like shade covers and all throughout the parking lot here. And I've seen this before, but... I was thinking at first, you know, that's kind of that's kind of strange that they have those. It's not like it rains very often here. I mean, I guess maybe it's for shade if it gets really hot out in the summertime to keep your vehicle cool. But then I realized that they're actually all just solar panels. It's all just a bunch of solar panels. It's a massive solar system. And I don't know if the power is maybe to, to power the Walmart or if it's there for to go back, I guess, into the system and to, and to give power to the city or what. But I thought that that was pretty neat to see. to surf for a bit but the wind is all over it now and it really doesn't look fun at all so a walk on the beach will have to do. So it's looking like the element's getting a little bit of a flat tire here. Check that out. It's definitely pretty low. It happened the other day where I noticed it was a little bit low when I was in Barstow, California and I just filled it up at the gas station. I'm guessing there's probably like a slow leak in there. The tire's also getting pretty old though as well, so it could also just be starting to go. I'm gonna go try to get it filled up right now and then head to a mechanic and see what they say. I can't believe that that was free. I thought it was gonna cost at least $2. So they ended up having to replace that tire. It wasn't just a nail or a slow leak. The, the tire itself was cracking all along the edges and starting to, the, starting to fall apart. The seam was starting to separate and that's why it was leaking. And it was happening on all the tires. I, I mean, I, I had noticed this, I checked them all out and I saw that that was kind of happening. Like I said, I was hoping to be able to get a little bit longer out of them, but it just wasn't gonna happen. So I ended up replacing all the tires. It wasn't as expensive as I thought it was gonna be, but it was still pretty pricey, but it's done now and it's probably not gonna have to be done for at least another couple of years. I seem to have come down with a little bit of a stomach bug or a stomach virus or something like that because you know, I've been sick to my stomach and my stomach's been hurting pretty much the entire afternoon today. So I'm gonna go get some rest and probably get to bed really early tonight and just try to sleep through the night and hopefully be better in the morning. It feels so nice to drive around with new tires. Everything is just so smooth and you can't feel any of like the bumps in the road. And, it's pretty nice. Definitely, definitely is an improvement, the ride quality here in the element right now. So I ended up staying in just a quiet residential neighborhood last night. It worked out pretty well. I was in bed for like over 12 hours trying to get over that little stomach bug that I contracted and it definitely was like a little virus or a little stomach bug. It seems to have passed. I feel a lot better this morning. I ate breakfast and was fine but yesterday evening I was at Starbucks hanging out just getting some work done and I tried to eat a little sandwich. I couldn't could not eat it. I had no appetite at all. I was not feeling well and fortunately yesterday evening I didn't really um didn't really get sick at all at night. I didn't have to use the bathroom or anything like that, but I woke up a couple of times, was running a fever and had the chills and it was not very comfortable, but that's just part of living in the element and you know living in a vehicle like this. It's just one of the sacrifices that you have to make. Getting sick is, is definitely not something that is enjoyable. It is a lot harder. It's more difficult. It's stuffier. It's hotter in here. It's just harder to get through the night like that, but it's a, it's a sacrifice that you have to make. It's the same thing as dealing with mechanical issues as well. Things like that are, are a little bit more difficult because you have to factor in the fact that you, that you live in here full time and that it's your house as well as your vehicle. So, you know, and it's funny that two of these things, you know, the flat tire issue and the tires issue and the sickness thing happened in the in you know the same day here and it was kind of a challenging couple of days but again it's it's just a sacrifice that you have to make and, and for me dealing with challenges like that I, I feel like is completely worth it and you know for the for the benefit of this lifestyle and, and the benefits that 
living in the element bring to me, it's it's worth it to deal with you know those issues and, and have them be a little bit more challenging than if you lived in a house. <laughs> and I, I I just I think it's I think it's definitely worth it, but also something to to consider. been hanging out here by the bay for pretty much the entire afternoon taking a lot of naps still trying to get over the whole stomach bug sickness thing we've got the uh, the solar panel out running it seems to be working pretty well keeping the battery topped off it's another June gloom morning here in San Diego it's now the next day it's Sunday morning yesterday evening that little stomach bug that I had started coming back a little bit I wasn't sick or anything but I wasn't really feeling great at the same time. Still pretty feverish and weak, still trying to get over it. So ended up going to bed early, resting again. And this morning, I, I, I want to say it's finally gone. I hope it is, but I definitely feel a lot better this morning. So the surf is looking pretty good tomorrow, so I want to continue to rest as much as I can today to try to make sure that I'm over this little sickness here so that I can enjoy the surf tomorrow and hopefully be re-energized and be ready to get out there. So I'm probably going to take it easy again today. It looks like the sun is starting to maybe come out, but I'm just going to be hanging out. I need to go to Starbucks and I'm really far behind on editing. I got to get this video edited and uploaded for you guys along with a few other things. So. It's probably just going to be a pretty relaxed day like it has been the last couple of days. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you all in the next video.